What's up, retro enthusiasts? Risky Bitness back again with another emulation tutorial for RetroArch. So if you've been following my tutorials so far, you've probably got a pretty good setup going, but you might want to know how you can get some cheats so that you can finish the games that maybe you're having some trouble with, or uh, if you just want to see what's out there in the rest of those games. Well, very simple, very easy to do. So the first thing you're going to want to do before you do anything else is you have to download the cheats. So open up RetroArch, go to your main menu, go to the online updater, and choose update cheats. That's going to download the cheats.zip file, it takes a few minutes to extract. And once that process is complete, you'll be ready to apply cheats to your Once you've downloaded your cheats, go ahead and start your content. So for our example here today, we'll play Turtles in Time. All right, so let's say we're having a little bit of trouble with Turtles in Time, or we just want to see the ending. Go ahead and open up our quick menu. If you don't know how to do that, please refer back to my first tutorial for Retro Launch. Then you're going to go down to Cheats. Easy enough. Next, you're going to go to Load Cheat File Replace. Now, this menu is weird, and I've never really understood why it's laid out the way it is, because it actually gives you the name of each core. but you're just gonna look for the name of the platform. So here we're gonna go ahead and find Nintendo, Super Nintendo Entertainment System, perfect. Then you'll get a game list, and you're just gonna find your game in the game list. Now if you look down here, you'll have all the cheats available to be turned on or off. So we can go ahead and turn these on. Now after you turn the cheats on, this is super important, you have to apply the changes. If you want, you can also put this apply after toggle, flip this to on, and it'll automatically apply as soon as you flip a cheat on or off. So I'm going to apply changes, and you can even save this file, give it a file name, and then load a cheat file so you don't have to go through the menu the, the whole time and you can just load it up, but I find it's pretty easy to do it this way. So as you see with the cheats in effect, I am invincible, I have 99 lives, and I have started on level 5. You can do a lot more cool stuff with these cheats if you want to really get into it. You can actually edit the memory addresses yourself if you know how. You can look up guides on how to do that online. The purpose of this tutorial is just to get you in there real quick and get you up and running with the cheats that come with the emulator. So I hope this has been helpful for you. This is going to be another real quick one. Now we're going to get a little more in-depth next time as we go into each emulator core that we use and go over the options and have it look the way and run the way that you want it to. So if you found this tutorial helpful, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And until next time, game over.